Did you know that in 1928 something fascinating happened? The British Parliament passed the Equal Franchise Act, granting women equal voting rights with men. Before this historic moment, the argument against women's suffrage was often based on the appeal to tradition. Opponents of women's rights would argue that women had never voted before, and that society had always functioned well without female voters, so there was no reason to change the status quo. This is a classic example of the appeal to tradition fallacy, which suggests that something is right or good simply because it has been done that way for a long time. The appeal to tradition is a logical fallacy that occurs when someone argues that a practice, belief, or idea is correct or superior simply because it has a long-standing history or tradition. This can be a persuasive tactic, especially for those who feel a strong connection to their cultural, religious, or societal roots. But it's important to remember that just because something has always been done a certain way, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the best or only way to do it. Hey Rational Rebels! Welcome to the arena of reason, the very place we train our minds to spot cognitive pitfalls. This is Chris from Critical Conditioning, where we strive for cognitive precision and free our minds from that mental prison. Today, we're exploring the appeal to tradition fallacy, a fallacy where arguments are backed by threats or intimidation. We'll delve into the psychology behind this fallacy and how it can impact our ability to reason critically in the face of threats and intimidation. Before we delve into this intriguing topic, remember to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell to stay updated with our mind-strengthening content. If you find our podcast valuable, consider supporting us through PayPal using the link in the description. Your support helps us continue our mission of promoting rational thinking. Also, please share this episode with someone you know who might be interested in understanding the appeal to tradition fallacy. Supercharge your mind, hit subscribe, don't be left behind. Let's get started. Let's explore two concrete studies that examine the appeal to tradition. In the first study, researchers from the University of Amsterdam investigated how people respond to the appeal to tradition when it's used in persuasive messages. They found that people are more likely to be persuaded by an argument that cites tradition when they identify strongly with the group or culture associated with the tradition. The second study, conducted by the University of Michigan, examined how the appeal to tradition influences decision-making in groups. The researchers discovered that groups are more likely to rely on traditional practices when faced with uncertainty, as it provides a sense of stability and familiarity. Now that we've discussed these studies, let's look at some easy-to-spot real-world examples of the appeal to tradition. 1. Opposing changes to educational systems because we've always done it this way. 2. Continuing to use outdated technology because it's tried and true. 3. Believing that natural remedies are always better than modern medicine only because they've been used for centuries. 4. Preferring older music or art styles because they're considered classic or timeless. 5. Supporting a political party simply because your family has always supported it. Now let's examine some more subtle, sneakier examples of the appeal to tradition. 1. A company using a sincere slogan to imply that their products are superior due to their long standing history. 2. The fashion industry periodically reintroducing vintage or retro styles, implying that older styles are somehow better. 3. Restaurants using family recipes or heritage ingredients to imply that their dishes are superior. 4. Parents telling their children that they should behave a certain way because that's how we were raised. 5. Advocating for specific sports teams or clubs because they have a long, successful history. Individual differences can play a role in determining who is especially at risk of falling for the appeal to tradition. Research suggests that older adults or those with a strong sense of cultural identity are more susceptible. Additionally, people who have a high need for cognitive closure or prefer clear-cut, unambiguous information might be more prone to the appeal to tradition. To help you spot the appeal to tradition, consider these tips. 1. Pay attention to arguments that rely heavily on the past or tradition as their main source of support. 2. Analyze the reasons given for maintaining a tradition and determine whether they are based on logic and evidence, or simply on the tradition's long-standing history. 3. Be aware of the context in which an argument is presented. If it's playing on your emotions or sense of identity, it might be using the appeal to tradition. To avoid falling victim to the appeal to tradition, keep these strategies in mind. 1. Cultivate critical thinking skills and question the validity of arguments, even if they don't align with your personal beliefs or values. 2. 
recognize that just because something has been done a certain way for a long time doesn't mean it's necessarily the best or only way. 3. Be open to new ideas and perspectives that challenge traditional norms and practices. Remember, always question the validity of arguments based on tradition, and be open to new ideas that challenge the status quo. So rational rebels, what are your thoughts on this fallacy? Have you or someone you know experienced a similar situation? Share your perspective with the community and in the comments below. Your support is incredibly valuable to us. If you can, please consider making a donation through the PayPal link in the description. Every contribution helps us continue creating content that promotes critical thinking. Thank you for being a part of our mission. Keep your mind sharp, raise your banner with a like, enlist and subscribe to become a rational rebel alike, avoiding all the pitfalls that may come your way, this is Chris from Critical Conditioning, signing off for today.